8 students A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H sit around a circular table equidistant from each other facing the center of the table, not necessarily in the same order. B and D sit neither adjacent to C nor opposite to C. A sits in between E and D, F sits in between B and H. Which one of the following is definitely correct? So here there are more than one possibilities of arrangement. Okay, so we'll be checking all the different possibilities first. So there are two methods to find the answer. So in the first method, we are going to find all the possibilities first and then we are going to check which option is correct. Okay, so let's check the possibilities. So first one, we'll draw the circle. This is the circular table and the, we have eight positions, right? So let's say this is one position, two, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth position. Now it says that A sits in between E and D. So let's say A is here, then E is here and D is here. Okay. So in the second possibility also, we'll draw the second possibility. So this is the circular table and we have a third possibility. And let's say we have a fourth possibility. Okay. So here A sits in between E and D. Let's say this is the same. And let's say it can be like this as well, right? It can be like this also. Okay. Then F sits in F sits in between B and H. So let's say F is here. And B and H is here. Okay. In this case, let's say F is here. B and H is, I mean, B and H is here. Then let's say here, F is here, H and B. Then F is here, H and B. Now, now uh, B and D sit neither adjacent to C or nor opposite to C. So C will be coming here because C doesn't sit adjacent to B, right? So C will be here. And then finally, G will be here. So in this case, C will be here. C will be here. And G will be here. In this case, C will be here. And G will be here. And this case, G will be here. And C will be here. So these are different possibilities. Okay. So I uh, this is not the way in you have to find the answer. There is a simplest way to you for you to find the answer. So, but I have given all the four possibilities here. Now we'll check the answers okay now b sits in between a and g so here the question is which one of the following is definitely correct so definitely correct means whatever the option we take it should be correct so b sits it in between a and g so in the first case b is not in between a and g in the second case also b is not between a and g third case also b is not between a and g fourth case also this is wrong then c sits opposite to g here c doesn't sit opposite to G. Here it is correct, but here it is wrong. Right? Here it is wrong. Here it is correct. So in two options it is right, two options it is wrong. So it is not definitely correct. So this is wrong. E sits opposite to F. Here E sits opposite to F. This is correct. Here E is not opposite to F. So this is wrong. Right? So this is wrong. Option is D, none of the above. Now this is not the way you should find the answer for this question. Okay? In order for you to understand the question, I have given different options and shown you how to get the answer. Now, actually what you have to do is, you have to just take one possibility first and check whether you can eliminate any of the option. Okay, now let's go to the one, one possibility, just one possibility. So this is the, so this is the circular table that we have. Okay, so let's say a sits it sits in between e and d so let's say a is here and e and d is here then f sits in between b and f b and h so let's say f is here and uh, this is b and this is h then b and d sit neither adjacent to c nor opposite to c so c will be here because if i write c here it will be adjacent to b so that is wrong so c will be here right and finally g is here now let's take the first option 
B sits in, in between A and G. Here B is not in between A and G. B is here, right? A is here and G is here. So it is wrong. So we can eliminate this option. Okay. Now, in second option, C sit opposite to G. Here C and G are adjacent to each other. So this is also we can eliminate. Now E sits opposite to F. Here E sits opposite to F. That is correct. Okay. So this can be correct and this can be correct. Now what you have to do is you have to check the second possibility. Okay. So we'll check the second possibility. So let's say A is here. Then E and D is here. Then let's say F is here. Okay. Then B and H is here. Now B and D sit neither adjacent to C nor opposite to C. Okay. Now if I write C here it will become adjacent to B. And if I write C here it will become adjacent to D. So this is not a option. So if we write H and B like this we can write C here right. Then it will not come adjacent to B or D. So then this is an option, correct? This is an option. So here we need to check the third case. E sits opposite to F. Here C, E is not opposite to F, right? This is E and this is F. They are not opposite to each other. So we can eliminate this option as well. So we got the option D as the uh, correct answer. Okay, so this is how you have to uh, solve this question. You don't need to check all the possibilities first. Just need to take one possibility, then eliminate whatever options you can. Then you have to take the second possibility, you have to eliminate the remaining option. Then you can get to the answer. Okay.